What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I've got some more of the mystery packs I've been opening the last couple of videos. Uh, I've been drawing on them again. Um, seems like you should get an SR in every pack, but the last time I think we got one that didn't have one, so maybe we don't get one every single time, but it should be majority of the time, hopefully, seeming on, uh, seeing on how we've gone historically with these so far. Anyway, 500 yen each. They're very reasonably priced. Let's have a look what I've drawn today. So, first one I have got... Ta-da! And then... Ta-da! Not so good. <laughs> but we got Snorlax. Beep! We have got... A Squirtle. Eh, it's okay. The Squirtle's not too bad. We have got a Charmander, which looks... He looks, his head looks too big, it's kind of the wrong shape, but, you know, it's our whiteboard marker, give me a break. I got uh, Bulbasaur, which again, is kind of weird looking. And then, I tried to do Surprise Pikachu, but he, he looks really skinny as well. Not my best effort ever, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. So, this is what we got. Let's kind of fan him out a bit, make it look interesting if I can. Oh, that's tricky. So we got six today. I'm trying to make the thumbnail more interesting basically. Yeah, let's see how we go. Alright, we'll just mix them up. Let's open the left half of Snorlax's face. Let's see what we get. So from what we've seen, if there's three cards in there, it's not such a good one. If there's two cards, it's a good one. It looks like there is three cards in this one, unfortunately. But we still typically get some good stuff. Let's see. We've got the... What's he called? Dabool or whatever. Times two. Okay. And... Oh, that's a little bit of an older one. We've got a uh, tag team. We've got Tyranitar and Mega Sableye. Let's get him in sleeve. It's not a bad one. I like the alternate art, I do have that, but this is kind of cool looking too. Definitely prefer the newer style though. On the, the V's, the full art V's definitely look nicer than the older Sun and Moon era GX's. They're okay, they're okay. I, I don't hate them, but definitely the newer ones. More reminiscent of the XY era with the like actual something happening in the background, not just a... That sleep looks different slurs. Not just like one solid colour, so it's kind of nice. Alright, knocking stuff on here. Alright, we got a Squirtle. Let's have a look what we got in here. Looks like we have three cards again. Hopefully we can get some variety today. We've got a Wobbuffet V. We got a Wobbuffet V and... Okay, so, not an SR, this is a triple rare. It's not bad. We'll take it, but definitely prefer the SRs than the triple Rs. I do have a bunch of them. I'm literally reusing sleeves now, this is bad. I should have bought some more sleeves, I forgot. So these are like, whenever I go and sell stuff, they make you take everything out of the sleeve, so I just like put all the sleeves into a bag and then I use them for like um, random stuff that I don't want to necessarily use a fresh sleeve for, but I don't have any fresh sleeves, so we're going with these for today. Alright, we have got Charmander, Derpy Charmander. Let's see what he's got in store for us. Alright, looks like... There is three cards in this one as well. We got a Houndoom V. Okay, that's a bit more new one. I think I saw the shiny card was in the middle. Let's see. We've got another Alolan Sandslash. Alright, we're getting a bunch of them now. And a Genesect. Ooh. It's a full art, but this is one of these ones that's very cheap that they throw in a lot of these things. But one thing I can say is like, you could definitely buy 1,000 yen mystery packs and you'd be pulling these out of there. So for 500, pretty reasonable. And I think 
I mentioned in the last video. These Alolan sand slashes were quite expensive, like 10-ish dollars when they came out. It's a gym promo in Japan. So I don't think they're worth anything now because they're just literally giving them away as a throw-in in here, but we have five, five of them now. Houndoom looks sweet though. I do like that. Okay. Let's get him in there. Yeah. All right. So let's just rearrange this a little bit. We'll put all the V's and the GX's down here and we'll put the better stuff up the top. So still nothing too exciting to say. Oh, surprise Pikachu. What have you got for me? Let's go. Ooh, this one. Okay, this one looks like it has two cards in it. All right, this could be something good. Let's, let's hope. It's a grass energy. There all seem to be grass energies for some reason. Oh, okay. All right, we got her again. Oh, what was her name in English? I know it's not Olive like it is in Japanese. But I, uh, I got some sleeves in here that are not perfect fits. I'm literally digging through like a sandwich bag. This is a nice looking card though. And now I have two. So it's not like a top prize there. That was not pictured on the machine, but I guess it's like a better one that's worth more than like the 500 yen, I guess. I don't actually know how much it's worth, but not a huge amount, but it is cool. I didn't have it uh, until the last video when I, when I got one, but now I, I have two. So not gonna complain with that. Always good. All right, Bulbasaur with a big old head. See what he's got for us. Oh, you know what? This one has two cards as well. Okay. This could be something good. Grass energy. See that? Why is it always grass? And. Oh! Yes! Alright, alright. This is good. I don't have this. When I bought my boxes of Mugen Zone, they were all out of these promos. Now I have one. Yay. Pokemon Center Lady, very good. This is actually about like 10 or so dollars. I don't think it's really for the playability, like, I don't know, does anyone play Pokemon Center Lady? Probably not. I mean, it is back in rotation now. Only heals 60, but it does remove status conditions. It's not terrible. It's a nice looking card. I really like the, the texturing on there. It's got like rays of light coming through the window and that little plant looks kind of cool as well. Nice looking card, it's got the nice Mugen Zone stamp on there, I like that. That is a win. Okay, that is very good. We've got the last half of Snorlax's face. Let's go, we probably should open them in some kind of order. This one looks like it has three cards as well. I don't know what kind of order we need to open this in. Double again. I guess. This way. Uh, Solgaleo Lunala. Very nice looking artwork. And then... Salamance VMAX. Okay, so definitely it's kind of toned down the, uh, the pull rate. What, I mean, we got four out of six. And these are VMAXs, so they're not bad to get. Like, the Salamance is actually quite good. So, we don't hate that, but... I feel like it's slightly disingenuous now to be like, it's a, a secret rare in every pack. I don't know. What do you think? Should I do it? Well, it's too late because my oh, the sleeve is massive. By the time this video comes out, it's already decided what it's going to be called. I think I will not call it that just because it's a little bit misleading, even though like it's kind of majority of the packs. I do like that artwork a lot, but it's not everything. So yeah, it's... It is slightly misleading on my part if I say it's in every pack, so maybe we'll refrain. We'll see how we go. Uh, I will actually go buy some more of these though. I really want to get a top prize. This is actually the first time we've opened it. We haven't got one of the top prizes, although the Pokemon Center Lady is very good. I'm very happy with that. I think apart from that, we have everything, which is a bit of a shame that we didn't get uh, some newer stuff that we don't have. Uh, but, like I said, very happy with what we got. The Pokemon Center Lady definitely made it for me. The rest is is okay. It's nice. 
Uh, I, I do like this one. So, we'll call it a win. Definitely, I wanted to buy that Pokemon Center Lady. It's actually kind of hard to find. A lot of shops don't sell it. So, well, they just don't have any in stock. So, I guess it's reasonably popular. So, yeah, we will take that as a win. Um, anyway, let me know what you think of these guys. Definitely, there'll be some more. We'll draw some more pictures on there. So, let me know if you have any suggestions on any Pokemon that I can try and draw. Keep them simple, because uh, as you can see, I'm not very, <laughs> very good at doing it. But we'll try our best. Uh, anyway, like I said, that's it for now, guys. Let me know what you think. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.